Hi everyone, my name is Chris, I'm a sneaker enthusiast and this channel is all about me reviewing all types of sneakers. First of all, a warm welcome to the Like Sneaker channel. So my passion for sneakers started when I was growing up as a kid back in the 90s. Back then we had a lot of different diverse brands such as the Converse's, your Reeboks, your High Techs, Fila, Pony, LA Gear, your Nike Air Max 90s. Some of those brands you probably hadn't heard of because they have now been phased out, which is a bit of a shame. I have noticed that in most recent years that footwear trend is now gearing towards the retro look, which I am a big fan of. So let's head straight to the first review of Iconic Silhouette. I thought it's right to start my first sneaker review based in relation to someone who I admired when I was young. So this is the Onisuka Tiger Mexico 66 in the yellow and black colorway. And I'm going to give you a brief history of this brand. It was established in 1949 by Japanese creator Mr. Kanashiro Onisuka. Basically back then it was a brand that was focused on sporting performance shoes. And Mr. Onisuka would like to promote footwear towards the younger Japanese generation to get them actively involved with sports. But as you can see this sneaker strongly resembles to the late martial art artist Mr. Bruce Lee worn in the Game of Death movie and ironically, he died in the making of the film. So in the film, Bruce Lee wore white laces in which I will swap them around to show you in the on-foot footage to see how it looks like. In the Kill Bill movie too, Irma Furman also wore a pair of similar design, which was the OT Tai Chi Reb. Basically, the Tai Chi Reb has a spinner cushioning and a slim gum rubber outsole, and it was developed to mirror barefoot feeding in which uh, Tai Chi practitioners do when they practice Tai Chi and also the toe box is much narrower compared to the Mexico 66. So whilst drafting this narrative, um, there were originally five different silhouettes which featured in this colorway. And recently I just checked the website and they've just launched 10 more. So in total we have 15 different silhouettes in this yellow and black colorway, which is quite a lot. To make things simpler and to minimize my time of explaining each type of silhouettes to you, I have provided a link in the information down below so when you have time please feel free to click on it. So this silhouette was released in 2017 in which I happened to purchase my pair in Hong Kong, Bruce Lee's um, motherland if you want to call it and um, I got it for 790 Hong Kong dollars which is equivalent of 75 British pounds. It is the same price as over here in UK. So the Mexico 66 styling was born in 1966. Let's take a look at the box. Uh, this comes in a classic OT black box. The label reads model DL408-0490 and it's a Mexico 66 with Chinese writing stating that it's in yellow and black color and unisex sport and lifestyle sneakers and made in Indonesia. So inside the box, um, it provides you with a free folded card that gives you a brief history of the brand and also instructions of uh, shoe care in various languages. But as you can see, this is a contemporary slim fit sneaker. The injection of the vibrant yellow color just pops out instantly. Taking a closer look at the shoes, the base layer is constructed using nice quality yellow leather with a slightly off yellow colored synthetic suede toe tip and front mudguard overlay. On the mid panel of both the lateral as well as the medial, you have this oversized and iconic OT stripe that's constructed in black leather and stitching that provides contrast on both sides of the shoes. Moving towards the end of the shoe, we have the tiger wording printed on the heel tab in black. The OT stripes continues towards the heel counter to form a crisscross pattern, which I believe is the hell cross reinforcement stitching. If you look closely just beneath the crisscross stripes, you will notice the triangular patch of the off yellow synthetic suede. The tongue in this case is a slightly padded tongue, primarily out of the same leather. On top of the tongue we have the OT logo embroidered in the middle. The laces is your standard yellow tonal flat laces with no other extra laces supplied. 
and the laces goes around seven eyelets. Taking a closer look at the insoles, these come with a breathable cushioned cream coloured perforation insole and we have the OT logo stamped on the heel in dark grey. So as you can see, the upper of the Mexico 66 sits atop the partial white length midsole at the rear half of the shoe and it's sandwiched between the upper part of the outsole. They use a cushion uh, technology called Fusel, basically to absorb shock and optimise comfort. So we flip to the bottom, here you can see the outsole which is constructed in an all yellow coloured textured rubber, most likely designed for running. In terms of size and fitting, I am a UK size 9.5 to a 10, so it varies with a slightly wide fitting. And um, if you couldn't try it on feet, I would strongly recommend that before purchasing any sneakers online is to measure your length of your foot uh, from heel to toe and then uh, compare it with the official website sizing and also just to serve you as a guide. And please note that different models and brand it can vary as well as the cushioning and also the width of the toe cap can affect the fitting as well. So my pair is a UK size 9 and my foot length is 28 centimeters on the slightly wide side. But when I purchased my pair from Hong Kong, I initially tried on a uh, UK 9.5. Uh, it fitted okay, but I wanted a more sleeker look, so I went down half a size and uh, it fitted okay, and but it's just a little bit snug. And if I was to buy another pair, I would probably go for a UK 9.5. And, and for those who are considering buying the Tai Chi Rep silhouette at a much narrower toe cap, so I would probably suggest that you go half a size up. In terms of comfortability, um, I've been wearing this pair for the past three years on a regular basis without paying too much care uh, and attention to it. But I think it's still in very good condition due to its premium materials that it's been made from. I find this pair may take some time for people with wider foot to get used to. It took me six months for regular wearing to break into these sneakers. Personally, for a low profile sneaker, I find it's very stylish to wear and um, it's good for day trips and going to the shops with, but I may struggle for long walks. Despite being an iconic colorway and there is not much demand for this um, silhouette, believe it or not, going by stock X, I'm not sure about the name listed on the website. It is a Mexico 66, but not the model featured in the Kill Bill 2 movie. The asking price is around £100, but the actual average sale price is £57, which is below the recommended retail price already. If you put it on market for resale and hit it with the admin and postage costs, you would immediately face a massive loss before you even sell the sneaker. So therefore, for the time being, I would strongly recommend this should be purchased for personal wear or collection rather than for resale. We'll move on to the on foot footage. Um, the white laces you see in the footage is 160 centimeters lengthwise long, which I find is a bit too long. So if you are considering to purchase alternative laces, then I would strongly recommend to buy between 140 to 150 centimeters. Please do not feel disappointed that I'm not wearing any yellow jumpsuit or whirling any nunchuckers around. Um, it's due to the fact because my skills are not extraordinary. Your skill is extraordinary.
also I really like this sneaker and uh, I love that it resembles Bruce Lee. I think this is probably the only brand and silhouette and colorway that can capture his essence. And uh, another interesting fact is that Bruce Lee uh, likes to wear the white pair as well, which is available on the website. Having done some research, um, I find that the pair worn in the Game of Death movie share stronger similarities to the Tiger Corsair silhouettes. But like I said again, the one in the Game of Death is not featured in the official website. So it's up to you to judge uh, which one is the closest. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. All in all, Bruce Lee was undoubtedly the OG of the Onisuka Tiger sneakers. So I would like to know if you owe a pair of Mexico 66 or are you thinking of getting a pair? Do you think the white laces look better than the yellow ones? Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you for watching my first ever review video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you do like it, please hit me a like and I'll be pushing more content uh, along the lines with different brands. So do make sure you hit the subscribe button and I shall see you next time. Until then. So as you can see, this sneaker strongly resembles to the late martial arts artist Bruce Lee, who appeared in the Game of Thrones movie.